the Paul's exclusion principle. According to Paul's exclusion principle, no two electrons of the same atom can have all four quantum numbers the same. What he is saying? According to Paul's exclusion principle, no two electrons of the same atom can have all four quantum numbers the same. It means that if an atom belonging to no two electrons of the same atom can have all four quantum numbers. So we know the, what are the quantum numbers. That is nothing but here we read already N, L and M, L, M, S. These four are the quantum numbers. So according to Paul's exclusion principle, no two electrons of the same atom can have all four quantum numbers the same. The next keyword is Aufbau principle. What is Aufbau principle? According to Aufbau principle, orbitals are filled in the order of increasing energy. So how the orbitals are going to be filled? Orbitals are filled in the order of increasing energy only. That is called Aufbau principle. Then coming to Hunt's rule. What is Hunt's rule? According to Hunt's rule, electron pairing in orbitals starts only when all available empty orbitals of the same energy are singly occupied. So, this one you can understand when I am explaining the complete concept. According to Hunt's rule, what he is saying that electron pairing, electrons will be paired together. That pairing in orbitals starts only when the pairing will be happen, the pairing can happen only when all available empty orbitals of the same energy same subshell or same shell are singly occupied. So it means that first all electrons will be occupied singly then only it will pair. When the sufficient space is there that is one electron will be occupied one part of that shell and the next electron will occupy the same thing. So it means that one same energy. So after filling about the all shells singly then only it will come back and it will pair the electron. That is what Hunt's rule. The next one is Planck's constant. Planck's constant H is equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 36 joules per second. Remember this Planck's constant that is H is equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34. Remember the measures as well. Joules per second. What is Planck's theory? Electromagnetic energy can be gained or lost in discrete values and not in the continuous manner. What he is saying? Planck is saying that electromagnetic energy can be gained or lost. Electromagnetic energy can be gained or lost in discrete values, not in the continuous manner. So only in discrete values only the energy can be gained or lost in the electromagnetic energy. That is what Planck's theory.